When we first arrived from Anchorage, Alaska 19 years ago, as we walked up to the church for the first time, there was a gentleman there named Warren Butler. And he walked up and grabbed my hand and said, we're glad you're here. We've been looking for you. And that was 19 years ago. And within three weeks, we were involved in newcomers in various ministries, and it's been that way ever since. And though Warren is no longer with us, that attitude still continues at Trinity today. I really think it goes back to the clergy and the type of the congregation that they draw. They draw people who want to volunteer, who want to be involved. As Father Jerry said, it's church plus one. Just coming to church for one hour a week does not get you where you need to be in a relationship with God and the opportunities here to be involved in as many ministries as you would like to be. Okay, when we first moved into this facility, obviously we had plenty of extra space. And in fact, there was a discussion about mothballing and closing some of the buildings. But as you can see today, all the buildings are being utilized in full during the week and on weekends and in the evenings. And if you go inside of the buildings and are involved in the ministries, you realize quickly that the buildings were not designed for the purposes we are using them for. Of all the buildings, I think everybody would agree the atrium building is the one that needs the most repair. And you reach a situation where do you continue to put money into a building that is constantly needing repair and does not meet the current code, or do you remove it and replace it with a building that fits the needs of the youth in children's ministries? I think for our generation, uh, even though we may not have children directly involved on campus activities or attending Sunday school, we would all agree that when you come to church on Sunday morning and see the children come up the aisle and head to their Sunday school class, the looks on their face tells you everything. And for them to grow and to feel safe here, we need to have a new building for the youth ministries. Part of the plan is to move this forward. And to move it forward, you have to have facilities to replace aging facilities. And after we are gone, I, would, I know that Trinity Episcopal Church will continue to grow and move forward which is, for me, a big impetus for the capital campaign.